One of the most frequently asked questions that we get here at Parnham McWilliams are on the subject of criminal appeals. Um, a person has been charged or convicted and is confined and is seeking to challenge that conviction or confinement. And that brings up two separate and distinct particular appellate rights that individuals who are confined or have been convicted of crimes have. And that is direct appeal and writ of habeas corpus. Direct appeal is the thing that I think people are most familiar with. Direct appeal means that I've had a proceeding in the trial court and I was found guilty either by a jury or by a judge and now I am going to an appellate court and asking them to review those proceedings and find that there were errors that demand a reversal of that conviction and allow me to get a new trial. That type of appeal, direct appeal, is limited to the record on appeal. We can't go outside of the record as it exists at the close of the proceedings in the trial court. And by the record on appeal, what we mean is everything that was written and filed with the clerk of the court, everything that was said from the witness stand or from the bench or by the lawyers and any proceedings in the trial court and any pieces of evidence that were introduced at, that tri at the trial court proceedings. So direct appeal is, only, is limited to only those things. And in many instances, uh, there are situations where that isn't sufficient for a person to be able to make the case that their conviction was unwarranted uh, or should never have occurred. In many cases, such as if there is new evidence in the case, if a witness has recanted, if you have new witnesses or new scientific or forensic evidence such as DNA, or perhaps you had ineffective assistance of counsel if your lawyer had performed inadequately in your first proceedings. Those are things that are going to uh, be outside of the record on appeal, and the only means by which a person may have to challenge that is by habeas corpus. Now habeas corpus is one of the oldest traditions that we have. It's borrowed over from English common law and it, it along with direct appeal comes with its own rather tedious procedures, deadlines, and legal uh, maneuvering. Uh, if you have something, if you, if you have you or a loved one uh, who has, uh, is the victim of an uh, unwarranted criminal conviction or is illegally confined uh, somewhere. Please contact us here at Parham and McWilliams and we can help guide you through the process of appeal and habeas corpus.